Hi there guys, I am back with a new video. I've been gone a while and a lot of you probably know why at this point in my life, but some people won't. So I thought I'm gonna come back. I wanted to do a video just to kind of briefly explain where I'd gone and then maybe do a TBR at the same time because I had a bit of an inspiration to do the TBR this time, which I kind of lost a while ago. I decided to make a video now just quickly to say, Hi, I've been gone for a while. If you don't know why, here is why. Got very overwhelmed. I don't know when my last video was. Maybe August? No. Sure, I don't know. I know one of my last videos was me going meeting Brooke for the first time in Wales, because she came to me earlier in the year. Um, and I feel as though I posted the video not too long after that, so maybe like September, maybe start of October. At that time, I don't know why, but I started to get very overwhelmed with everything. I have my job, which is full time, which everyone has, so it really wasn't a big factor. But for me, it was the journey in and out was two hours long each way. So it was four hours of my day was traveling. I worked nine to five. Sometimes it was nine to six, sometimes nine till seven. And by the time I got home, it was so late. I wasn't really reading as much as I was, yet when every time I was reading, I was reading specifically so I could make a video about it, and I just stopped enjoying it. I also feel as though my views declined at the time, and I don't really know why. Maybe I was doing similar things that people weren't interested in. Maybe it just happened around that time of year. I didn't so much get caught up on the fact that people weren't watching my videos as much. I didn't mind about the viewership as much, but when I wasn't enjoying it as it was, and I was already feeling very down about making videos, it felt like I could use that as a reason to stop being involved in the community for a bit and stop making videos because I wasn't enjoying making the videos. And if no one watched them anyway, the only person's time I was actually wasting was mine. And I thought then, that I wanted to stop. And I thought I'll just take a break, kind of sort work out, go through that, sort my living situation out, sort everything out. And then I'll come back when I'm in a better place. And um, as time went on, I found that I really enjoyed not making videos anymore. I really enjoyed not having the pressure of making videos and not having to read books for videos and not having to design a thumbnail or edit or it freed up so much of my time and I kind of got a bit more invigorated to have my life back because before the lockdown and everything I went to my theatre I spent time with my family and my friends and then lockdown happened and that's when I started my videos and it was just kind of the perfect time for me to do that because I had nothing else to do I lost contact with a lot of people and I thought you know what I like reading books a lot of people I know really don't if I'm gonna look for friends online I'm gonna look for friends in a book community and that was my main reason for starting this channel because I have a desire to have friends in a book community that actually know books and what I'm talking about and people who can fangirl over things like I can and then I got that, which was another reason why I decided to stop at the time. At the time I started, I just wanted to make friends. And then when it was feeling like I really don't want to do this anymore, I realized that I had friends now. I had, you know, Brooke, who is my best friend. I had a whole other group of friends like Jade and Lauren and Kira and Mel and loads of loads of people. And I thought, well, I don't need to make videos to make friends anymore. I have friends and I don't need anything else from that. So I decided to stop and I loved it. I kind of missed it every now and again, but not enough to actually come back. And to be honest, I'm still kind of in that place. Seeing Brooke make her videos more and more, it kind of reinvigorated a passion. Maybe it gave me a bit of nostalgia, I don't know. Um, but I kind of felt, oh, I remember when I did that. It was a lot of fun. I just thought, maybe I'll just pop in every now and again. So that's kind of what I 
decided to do. I'll just pop in every now and again when I get the inspiration to do a video and I will. The inspiration does come and go. It was just in the past when the inspiration came to do one, I was like, no, you're taking a break, you're done, you're not doing it. I just kind of didn't do it. So now I will push myself to do those when I want to because it will be fun then. And only if I've got something to say as well. I don't want to make videos just for the hell of it. That's kind of what I'm doing. Also, work situation has changed drastically. It's not changed um, in that sense. But I am now a permanent worker. So I have a full-time permanent position come March. I will have done 12 months with my job. And then at that point, they will make me a permanent member of staff. It has been in writing. I've got it down. Perfect. Um, at some point, I will be transferring to a different office, which might be a bit of a struggle because it does involve a lot of travel, but we'll get to that when we come to it. I am also going to be starting home working, hopefully soon, uh, within the next month or two, so that'll be nice. Um, my living situation has changed. Once I found out I'd been made permanent, I decided to get my own place. It's something I've wanted to do for years, but... I was self-employed with a charity. The money wasn't exactly a set rate. It was just dependent on how much I worked. And I was only able to work a set amount of time because of their budgets, because they're a charity. So I didn't really feel comfortable enough to do that. Then lockdown hit whilst I was self-employed and I was like, definitely glad I didn't go for that because my hours with that job dropped drastically. And then I got this job and I thought this is amazing, but we don't know what the contract situation is going to be like. I was literally a fixed term appointee. I didn't know how long I was going to be there. It was initially six months with the potential for extension. I thought I can't take that risk. And now I got made permanent. So I thought now is a good time. So I took the risk. I took the chance and I'm now here in my new house. At some point, I'll do a tour of my house. Uh, I was wanting a little bit to do a moving vlog, but I was really stressed and it came about so quickly that I found out I was moving on the Tuesday. I packed on the Wednesday and Thursday whilst also being at work. And then I moved in on the Friday and then I went on holiday the Friday night. So I didn't even get a chance to move in myself. Never mind start filming a vlog. It was going to be really stressful. So I thought, nah. But I moved. So I will do a video of that at some point. I've redesigned my shelves. So I will do a shelf tour at some point as well. I dropped my TBI down significantly because I unhauled so many books just so I could move a lot quicker. It's still in the hundreds, don't get me wrong, but it is not in the 200s anymore, which is excellent. That is my situation. All of that has changed. Everything has just kind of changed since you last seen me. And I feel in such a good place right now. Um, as I said, I'm not going to set myself the target of being back because I don't want to. I want to have fun with my reading. I want to enjoy what I'm reading, not have any pressure on you have to read this for this or this for this or whatever. So don't expect me to be here often. But when I come here, I hope you guys join me. It'll be a lot of fun and I want you to check out all of my friends as well and you know, let's just be a really fun community like it kind of became when I started because that changed a little bit and I don't really like that. So I'm really excited to be back and I hope to see you all back and I hope to see my friends. It'll be great. Enough of me, TBR time. So I'm only doing a short TBR for February just to kind of keep myself in check really because there are some books I keep saying I need to read and some that I've put on like, not so much a purgatory shelf, but a, a time limit that this is what you need to read. I have some buddy reads. So I thought it would be a good time to get into it. First of all, very clearly I, know the second book of Present City is coming out. I booked a week off work to read it. So I have started to reread Present City by Sarah J Maas, House of Earth and Blood. And I am reading this currently. I'm only like 25 pages in, I'm not far, um, but I'm filming this in January. So I'm starting to reread this with the intention of finishing before the 15th when the new book comes out. Uh, this is the hardback copy. I think it's stunning. I've also got a hardback copy of the next one, so they will look beautiful together. I, I'm i gonna reread this just so I can read book two. I am really excited for book two. 
I didn't think I would even like Crescent City when I started reading it, but then I just became obsessed. I was thinking about book two and there was a friend who at work who was asking me about, oh, right, what's that about? And I was like, I can't even explain. And then when we started talking about it, she was like, oh, what type, what, what's going to be in it? What type of things? And I just had to explain everything and I fangirled way too much. And then I started reading this and I cried on like page two. So I can't wait to reread this one and then read uh, House of Sky and Breath as well. It's going to be so much fun. Uh, next, I another reread for me. I am going to be doing a buddy read of Percy Jackson with my friends. Brooke has never read Percy Jackson, so I think it was a, like a month or two ago, uh, Lauren and I said we need to read them. So Brooke is going to be reading them with us. I think Kira is now joining us as well. Brooke, Lauren, Kira and I are going to be reading Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief and then continuing on with the series because Brooke has never read them. I don't think Brooke will like them because it's middle grade and very young YA and Brooke doesn't really like that type of book anymore. I think she'll find this really cheesy and annoying, but that's kind of why I want her to read it. And I really love this series. I also want to read Heroes of Olympus, so it's a good way to kind of get me into this world again so I can read the Heroes of Olympus series. So I'm excited to be reading this. This is a buddy read and I, I really look forward to it. And another reread, I'm gonna be continuing on. Uh, I'm gonna be reading Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. I went away to Centre Parks with my friends in January and I took uh, The Philosopher's Stone and reread that because I kind of made it a goal for this year to reread at least one book per month because I do love rereads, uh, but I was so under pressure with my TBR that I stopped rereading books. And I think that again took my love of reading away because I weren't reading the books I actually wanted to read. So I stopped. So I decided to continue. I read the first one last month. I'm going to be reading this one this month and so on and so forth until I finished. Uh, everyone knows what they're all about, so I'm not going to go through any of these. If you want to know what any of them are about, uh, good reads them. That's kind of what it's there for. I don't want to explain. I'm lazy. Um, now, another fantasy book. There are so many fantasies on here. That's already five, four, four fantasies. And here is a fifth one. I want to read Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber. Um, I don't know what this is about. I've never read a Stephanie Garber book before. Uh, I got this as my fairy loot copy. It is absolutely stunning. The It's signed and then, oh, author's note fell out. Beautiful end papers. The uh, cover is absolutely stunning. And then the dust jacket art, absolutely stunning as well. Um, it is beautiful. But I do have a bit of a habit of getting these fairy loot books and not reading them. I've read a few, a fair few, and I'm very happy about it, but I do still have about six from last year that I've not picked up yet, and I need to get to them. So I decided to pick one up. This one is probably like the most popular of the ones I've not read yet. So I decided to go for this one because if it's great, yay. If not, I'm sure someone will want this. So I decided to go for this one a lot quicker, and I'm excited to read it. It looks fun. It looks, it's a stunning book. I absolutely love this book. And I just love how it's designed. So I am hoping to God that I love this. But I don't know what it's about. I probably should read what it's about, but I'm not doing that right now. I'll read about that later. And then finally on my TBR, I'm only doing a short one because I don't know how much I'm gonna to get to read. I also want to leave myself with some free choice this month as well. Um, but finally, I am forcing myself into my Alex Cross again. Uh, my Alex Cross series is like 32, 33 books long. Uh, I have this one, which was at the time I got it, the most recent book in the series, since then another one has come out and I've still not read it. So I have two books left in this series. So I want to read Deadly Cross and then there is also Fear No Evil, but I won't be doing that this month, I don't think. Too long of a series for me to even explain, but I'm really excited to read this. I always love Alex Cross. James Patterson is a very good writer for his chapter lengths. I, I love James Patterson anyway, but James Patterson does chapters that are like somewhere between two and six pages long. He doesn't do long chapters ever. And 
it just makes it so much quicker to read and so much easier. And I always have a great time. So I'm excited to actually get back to my James Patterson and especially my Alex Cross because it is my favourite series. And it has been a long time since I've read it. So that is a good TBR for me. It's a good haul being there's five books here and then there is also Crescent City 2, uh, House of Sky and Breath, which is on here. So it's six books, so definitely manageable. They're actually quite big books. I didn't realise that until just now. Um, but there are six books. Gives myself enough time for a bit of a free read. I'm excited to see that. Uh, and I'm excited to do some like video parties with my friends where we read books. I'm excited to read more of my Kindle. I've kind of got into reading on my Kindle a bit recently, so that's good as well. I am in a good place. I am really enjoying reading at the moment. I think this is going to be a good month for me. I'm excited. I'm getting closer to my goal of 100 books by the end of this year on my TBR. Because I'm not too... I mean, I am. I'm, I'm closer to 200 than 100. But... When I started this channel, I had 400 on my TBR. So I'm doing well, please praise me. But I'm in a really good place and I am actually really glad that I made this video. Whether it actually gets edited and put up, I have no idea, but I'm excited to have made the video. It feels good to be back. I don't know when I'll be back next. Goodbye. But when will I see you again? Oh, never, never. Never? Well, maybe someday. When, tomorrow? Oh no. But whenever I am back, I will see you in the next video. Bye.